welcome back to Rock Solid Motorsports. Today we're going to do a test drive and a walk around inspection on this really pretty 1968 Ford Bronco. This first generation Bronco comes to us uh, receiving a very nice cosmetic restoration. It does have a correct date coded 289B8 backed by the three speed manual transmission. As you can see, it's the green, well, white over green, a uh, very tasteful green painted stripe down the side of the truck. And then you got factory steel wheels painted white with the, the chrome uh, center ring, center, trim ring and, and center cap. Get that out, Justin. But yeah, just a great, solid, great running, driving little Bronco. Um, really enjoy getting to know this truck. So now we'll grab the other camera and go for a test drive. Step up and in. So now we're gonna take that, that really nice 1968 Ford Bronco for a test drive. Yep. So the it is a um, correct date coded 1968 Ford 289. It is. Uh, the carburetor is a 1979. It is 79 two-barrel motorcraft carburetor. Yeah. And we haven't done anything with it. It it does kind of the idle kind of wanders a little bit. It does. But other than an idle, the idle wandering. The carburetor and everything performed very well. Yeah, actually, the 29 pulls down the road very yeah. well. Of gear, we have gone through and checked, made sure the transfer case operates properly. 
the hubs lock out in the front. Actually, we have them uh, re-greased since we we're checking them to make sure. Reverses. Yeah. So let's get the little truck up to 60. Now that we're finished with the test drive on this awesome 1968 Ford Bronco, we'll go ahead and do our walk around inspection. So this truck has a very nice, you know, driver quality example of first generation Bronco. Uh, like I said earlier in the video that it was originally a blue truck and currently is painted with a green uh, with, and white and the pink is fairly new, relatively new, it's just in the last few years. 
So it shines very well. There's very little orange peel, but there's a little bit to it. We'll start with this windshield. So the windshield frame itself is in excellent condition. Uh, the rubber gasket around the glass is in very good condition. Now the glass itself has got some minor stone chips kind of throughout the windshield, but and then across the driver's side of the hood, it's in very good condition. I think there might be, there is a slight dent in the hood right there. I don't know if the hood got shut on something at some point. So coming into the driver front fender, your Bronco and the Bronco emblem, both the emblems are in excellent condition. Paint's very nice. Uh, nothing on the driver's side, front fender to talk about as far as defects. You got brand new Kelly edge altering tires, uh, factory style wheels, with beauty rings and center caps. Your worn locking hubs, which the four wheel drive system on this truck is fully functional. Nice and clean bottom side of the truck and suspension. And you do have the added, you know, it's got four shocks up front with the steering stabilizer. Coming across the front of the truck, you see the, the chrome half covers on the headlights. Um, both turn signal lenses are in very good condition. Your grill's in very good condition. The front bumper is very nice. Um, I guess it got replaced or at least re-chromed when the truck was repainted. So coming across the passenger side of the hood, there is a crack in the paint right here in the shape of a Y. And there again, I don't know if we got the hood got it closed on something that it shouldn't have, but the rest of the hood is nice and straight, clean paint. And then the passenger side front fender, very comparable condition to the driver's side front. It's very straight. There is a couple real small stone chips there. Oh, it came off. That's a stone chip there. But your wheels are nicely painted in very good condition. This one does have a little boggle there, but uh, the tire does not leak. It doesn't affect the tire ceiling. And the passenger side of the, the glass is in very good condition. The frame rail, the rubber gaskets, in very good condition. Coming to the passenger side door, and both doors are very solid. I'm not seeing any dings or no, doors chips outside. or anything. Your Both door handles are new, nice and clean. Your passenger side mirror is very nice and clean. You do have some age on the vent window and the rubber around the vent window. And this upright piece here is definitely original, uh, not painted. And both doors are a little snug. I mean, you gotta push that button to get it to open up. But doors are nice and solid and not all mudded up. And so the door is very clean. You have a little paint defect right there. Now you do have some age on your window crank, but your armrest is in very good condition. Bend the window. Yeah, bend the window, you got some age kind of going on there. But your door jam is very clean, your transition plates, your sill plates are very clean, they, they, they are stainless. Very clean door jam. Dash is in good condition. It's got some minor cracking starting in just a few spots kind of throughout, but otherwise very minimal warpage. Your visors are showing a little bit of age. Some minor staining on both of them. The interior of the top is in very good condition.
carpet has definitely been replaced at some point. It's in excellent condition. Got your factory four wheel drive shifter. And you got some age kind of on the surround. Bigger front seats are in very good condition. They are older. No, not a lot of wear. No splits anywhere, not in the vinyl. Either. Again, and then coming to the rear, your rear vinyl seat is in very good condition. And both doors open and close very well. Um, your roof is in very good condition. There is one small, and I don't know if Tyler will get it, you might have to look at the pictures. There is one small little patch on the top of the, the roof. Your side glass is in very good condition. There's some etching. I don't know if something got on the glass at some point there. And I think, actually, this passenger, there's some really light scratches on the inside. Your passenger side rear quarter is in excellent condition. Paint's very nice. I'm not seeing any chips or things or anything to speak of. And all four of your wheels are in very good condition. Your back glass has got just some real light scratching. I would assume it's original, probably well above average condition for original. Your gasket has definitely been replaced. It's in excellent condition like the front windshield. And your rear tailgate is in excellent condition. Paint right there in the green. License plate bracket operates just like it should. Your rear bumper's in excellent condition, nice and straight. No dents. Your rear handle, your rear glass is in excellent condition, definitely was replaced. Rear glass, as you can see, opens opens and closes just like it should. Very easily. So and then your rear tailgate. As you can see, the inside of the tailgate's in excellent condition. Your carpet throughout is new. It's in excellent condition. Like Tyler probably already mentioned, the rear seat is in excellent condition. It's definitely been recovered. You might have a little bit of age on some of the bracketry. But everything functions just like it should. Opens and closes. Come around to the driver's side of the truck. The driver's side and rear quarter. It's just dirt. Quarter is very straight and clean. Yeah. Very good condition. Side of the glass, we have a little scratch, but yay long. Again, it's got some really minor scratches here and there throughout the piece of glass, but they are correct car light glass, so it's probably the original glass. Your driver's side door, the mirror, and the handles in excellent condition. You do have a couple little scratches. On the top of the door, there's one right here. Just from age, and then, yeah, that piece of molding there, and the vent window's got some age to it. Coming down, you got a couple, a couple chips on the edge, probably from getting in and out of the truck that has been touched up. And I think. Yeah, there, and I don't know if you're going to be able to show them, but right here, there's two real light dings. Yeah, you may barely show them. They're real minor.
And your door is in very good condition. Rotted or bonded. We do have some stone chips in the paint in the interior, which actually might be part of chips. Yeah, <laughs> not necessarily stone chips, but they've been most have been touched up. You got one there. You got some scratching just on the front of the door, probably from getting in and out. Again, you have some minor age on the crank, on the window crank. Armrest is in very good condition. Again. You have some age here on the latch for the vent window coming in again there's some minor warpage to the dash pad but not bad a lot of your knobs appear to be original in the interior so they have some age showing the gauge cluster has some minor age present same with the surround for the steering column and the steering wheel itself there is some cracking as you can see in the steering wheel. Some mild pitting in the center cap. Does have a nicely added column mounted tack. It has been converted to three speed on the floor. It was originally three speed on the tree as you can see in the column. Wheel's done very well. Those are in good condition. Your front carpet again is in excellent condition has obviously been replaced. Some driver's seat padding, uh, the cover is in very good condition. Again, you do have at least, I don't know if or not. We do have this rod that's poked out. So you do have a hole in the back of the seat. Um, just notice there's a little bit of a tear down here at the bottom corner of the passenger seat. But again, the driver's side of the rear seat's in excellent condition. Rear carpet's in excellent condition. Coming back outside the truck, open up the hood, you'll see uh, that correct date coded 1968 Ford 289 V8 a little bit later model carburetor on it and that's the one that we talked about in the test drive that you might want to consider rebuilding but and the entire wiring harness was replaced and we haven't opened up all of the wiring loom to confirm that but everything that we've looked at Nice and new. I'll fire up the truck and we'll show you some lights working. So if you're in the market for a classic, classic truck, first gen Bronco, uh, definitely want to take a strong look at this 1968 Ford Bronco. Nice solid little, nice solid little truck. I'm not sure what else to say. Great driver. So yeah, rock solid motorsports. <laughs>